Ouch! My back! Sound familiar? Back pain can cause a lot of trouble. It can't turn around without groaning. Bending down to lace your shoes feels like mission impossible. And your beloved bed doesn't seem that comfortable anymore. But don't reach for a bottle of Tylenol just yet. There are much better and safer ways to get rid of that annoying back pain. Relax that spine. Sit down on the floor with your legs stretched out in front of you and your feet 2-4 to four inches apart. Roll up a towel or blanket and slide it under your knees. Then put a pillow over your legs, bend your upper body forward, and curve your spine until your head touches the pillow. Get cozy and comfortable and relax in this position for 5 minutes or longer. This seemingly simple pose will help align your spine properly, release the tension that accumulates in your back muscles, and get rid of muscle spasms. Work with your psoas muscles. Lie down on the floor with your arms at your sides and your legs straight. Slide a yoga block or a plump cushion under your pelvis and gently relax your lower back down toward the floor. Stay in this position for 5 minutes or longer. The thing is that your psoas muscles, which connect your spine to your legs, do a lot of work stabilizing the spine. If they're too tense, you can feel lower back pain. Luckily, this exercise releases pressure in the psoas muscles and makes them balanced. Do a 2-minute back workout. 1. Sit down on the floor and stretch your right leg in front of you. Then bend your left leg at the knee and put your left foot flat down on the floor. With your hands, pull your left knee toward your chest, keep it there for several seconds, and then release. Do 10 reps, then switch sides. 2. Lying down on your back, bend your knees and place your feet flat on the floor. With your knees still bent, lift your feet 4-6 to six inches off the floor. Hold this position for a couple of seconds, then lower them down. Do 5 reps. 3. While still lying on the floor, stretch your left leg forward and lower it to the floor. Then bend your left leg and, holding it with your hands, pull it toward your chest. Hold it there for several seconds, then release it and change sides. Do 10 reps for each side. 4. Sit down on the floor and stretch your legs forward. Extend your arms in front of you and bend your upper body until you reach your toes with your fingers. If you can't manage it, don't push your body. You shouldn't feel pain or be uncomfortable at any moment of this exercise. Bend forward as much as you can and stay in that position for several seconds, then return to the sitting position. Do 10 reps. This set of exercises has tons of benefits, but most importantly, it releases the tension in your back, which in turn reduces the pain in your lower back and hip area. Plus, it takes just 2 minutes of your time. A good reason to do it every day, isn't it? Stretch your glutes. Sit down on the floor with your knees bent and your feet positioned flat on the floor. While balancing on your buttocks, cross your left leg over your right one and lift both of them off the floor. After that, hold your left foot with your right hand and your right foot with your left hand and pull your legs towards your body as close as you can. Stay in this pose for 1-2 to two minutes, then relax, return to the initial position, and repeat the same moves on the other side. It turns out that tight muscles in your glutes can be the reason for your back pain. After all, they work every time you raise your body, lower it down, or move it forward. That's why a good stretch will release the tension in that region and take the edge off the back pain. Find the magic points. Ever heard about acupressure? In short, there are particular points on your body that have a connection with different parts. And when you press these points, you can cure most kinds of aches and pains. Lower back pain isn't an exception, and the points that are connected with it are situated on the backs of your knees. You can find them exactly at the center of your knee's backside. Press them firmly with your thumbs and keep the pressure for 2-3 to three minutes while breathing deeply and regularly. 
These points are called the B54 points, and by simulating them, you can make your muscles relax. As a result, it soothes the pain in your lower back and hips. Sit on tennis balls. First of all, get yourself a tennis ball. Sit down on the floor and put a ball under one of your buttocks. Start to gently roll your body forward and backward on the ball until you locate the point the pain is coming from. As soon as you feel this spot, bend the same leg at the knee and place the foot on the opposite knee. To maintain balance in this position, put your hands on the floor behind. Stay in this position for 1-2 to two minutes, then switch sides. The trick is that the massage, with the help of a tennis ball, helps to release any tension you have in your gluteal muscles. As a result, your blood starts to flow to your lower back freely, and you get rid of the pain. Clothespin on the ear <laughs> Nope, it's not a joke. Take a clothespin and place it on your ear's upper side. Keep it there for 5 seconds, and then move it to the other ear. Do 5 reps for each ear. The upper part of your ear has a direct connection with your shoulders and back. That's why, when you stimulate it, you automatically release the tension and lessen the pain in that area. Try lavender oil. Take a tablespoon of castor or coconut oil and add several drops of lavender essential oil. Then use this mixture to gently massage the painful area. Due to its calming and anti-inflammatory properties, Lavender oil relieves stress and relaxes your back muscles. Do some stretching. 1. Cobra Pose Lie down on your stomach and place your palms flat on the floor beside your shoulders. Then slowly raise your chest off the floor so that the top of your head points up. 2. Child Pose Sit down on your heels with your knees about hip-width apart. Then bend forward so that your forehead touches the floor and stretch your arms in front of you. 3. Cat-Cow Pose Position yourself on your hands and knees and start to alternate between dipping your back toward the floor and arching it toward the ceiling. Be careful and gentle not to hurt yourself. When you do these stretching exercises, you loosen your back muscles, which helps get rid of persistent back pain. Hold each stretching pose for 30 seconds or longer, but remember that whatever you do, you shouldn't feel pain or discomfort. Soak your feet Get a bucket and fill it with hot water. Well, not too hot. Add half a cup of Epsom salt to the water and stir it well. Sit down, put your feet in the water, and soak them for 5 to 7 minutes. Ah! Then take your feet out Rinse them with warm water and cover them with a blanket or towel. Dissolving in the water, Epsom salt breaks down into sulfate and magnesium. The latter is famous for releasing muscle spasms and relaxing nerves. That's why when you're soaking your feet in an Epsom salt foot bath, your skin absorbs the ingredients which, in turn, help to soothe the back pain. So, do you know any other simple ways to deal with the back pain? Let me know down in the comments! If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go anywhere just yet! We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy! Stay on the Bright Side of Life!